Virgo Libra to your 2024 New Year's forecast. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. This year is the year of the wood dragon. So this brings in good fortune and good luck for everyone. Okay, so let's see what's going on. And those of you born under the year of the dragon, you can always Google that to see what it is. I know one is 1976. That is when I was born. Um, look for the, the extras and go ahead. You should probably read about that and see what's going on with you within the year as well. Um, you'll get a list of dates. I know my son was, and the other one is uh, 2001 because he was born in the year of the dragon as well. And I think it was 2012 the last one so I do know those um, not sure the other ones were offhand um, but anyways good you might want to google that okay guys let's see what's going on this message please coming out we're going this way guys this is going to be winter spring summer and fall going straight into a mercury over here how do you how you think, communicate, write, talk, and travel is going to be a big piece of winter. So for the winter time over here, you're going to have the Stargate heart. Um, this is the heart chakra opening, unlocking um, that heart and generosity. You're going to find a lot of generosity coming towards you. People who want to give, um, finding a lot of giving and receiving going on. So a lot of communication. Maybe you're talking to people you haven't talked to in a long time that you actually want to talk to. Um, people that want to offer help. Um, you know, you might even be very giving as well, wanting to give, you know, charity, doing things like that, because it is definitely a time of opening that heart chakra and a lot of love. Um, we're also talking about a lot of wealth and the wealth is through that family, like I said, and it could be that just being generous with the heart, feeling healthy, wealthy, long-term success, stability, um, feeling like there's a lot of love coming out as well as your heart chakra is opening. And having a lot of contributions, like I said before, a lot of wanting to give to charity, helping others out, people wanting to help to help you, and a lot of talking and a lot of love talk as well. Wow, you guys got it all right there. Um, going straight into, this is January. So January is talking about that love and that health and that Ten of Pentacles with the Hermit. Um, soul searching could be going on as well, feeling like, you know what? I don't feel as alone anymore, feeling consciously like, you know what, I understand having and seeing the bigger picture to the situation. Some of you might even be kind of hermiting yourself out, even though you are having some communication. Maybe you're having communication about the things that you love, um, but yet also kind of hiding out as well, meaning I'm not as wanting to travel as much as I used to, kind of taking a little bit of a break in between. So I just feel like, Maybe in the middle part of the month, you're going to find yourself kind of hermiting out, right? And just doing a little introspective about maybe what it is you want also for your New Year's resolutions. A lot of people do that, taking that time out, taking that alone time. Okay, so going straight into February. Um, preparing and having progress. Um, a lot of activity going going around so it feels like you're out of that hermit mode now you're going to be back to moving around back to looking at other things could be traveling across the seas but it also feels like there's a little bit of worry going on and a little bit of maybe even information overlord uh overlord uh, overload not overlord um overload going on but you have that mercury going on so you know definitely it might even feel like there's a little bit of delays going on with the situation no mercury retrograde will be done with on the first but it doesn't mean that there isn't a little bit of residue left over um but it doesn't even have to do with that at all it could just be you making a little bit of a delay you stepping back a little bit right because everything is going so fast and everything's moving so needing to make new decisions about uh, certain situations okay so it does look like there's a lot going on when it comes to communication um obviously 
So going straight into March, you do have the fruits of your labors where you're going to feel like the nine of pentacles feeling like, you know what, I'm getting my fruits of my labor done, feeling comfortable, getting some rewards, that travel is there again. So you might be traveling a lot during the winter time for a lot of you. Um, it could be even back and forth to work or for work or maybe even back and forth between your family. Um, it does feel that way, right? So it could be going back and forth to mom, something like that. You might even be taking care of a loved one, a family member, um, okay? There might be some health issues. Um, with a, a loved one that you're taking care of them um, and that could be where you're giving out that extra generosity as well um, but it does look like you're paying attention to that pinnacle but also paying attention to what your standards are what your priorities are this is where i have to put in my extra my extra priorities um might even have some skill developments might even be going back and forth between school and work right so and maybe family and home as well um, so it's, you know, it's a general reading, but it does look like I'm getting my priorities done and putting this as number one. And it could be that's why maybe in February as well, for some of you, you feel like, well, I'm kind of in an indecision about this situation because I'm already maybe making progress in one area, but I know that I need to do this as well. Or maybe I need to go back to moms again, right, to go make sure she's okay or grandma or whoever. Okay, so take that how it resonates. If it does, doesn't resonate with you, remember, guys, take what resonates, what doesn't. It's not your story. It's meant for someone else, and go ahead and throw that piece away. Um, but yet, we're also looking into the future, so we don't even know exactly, right? Always keep that in consideration. Just because it's not happening now, that's why it's called the future, <laughs> right? It's called the future because, right, it's not happened yet. So you don't even know, right? Unless you know mom or dad is sick at this time and you're already contemplating these situations as we're getting so close um, to January. Um, but, right? Okay, so going to Saturn over here, the part of you that accepts challenge to gain the wisdom, you have the divine magic, light initiation, great teacher awakening. Now, the great teacher awakening is you accepting um, the challenge, but the, I'm sorry, the great teacher awakening is the wisdom. That's what I wanted to say with the divine magic. So using a lot of magic, a lot of prayers, a lot of manifestations, that's what magic is, right? We have to remember what is magic, right? Magic is those prayers, that manifestation, things that I want, things that I desire, that I put out into the universe, making magic. It's not always the evil, you know, most people think of magic, but they, you know, it's, it's a little bit different from that. Um, so let's, you know, make sure that we understand what that means here, right? So, um, in, uh, excuse me, April, you're going to see, wow. <clears throat> you're going to see a happy blessing coming toward you. It's going to be the biggest surprise ever. It could, and it's definitely the divine magic, something you prayed for, something you've manifested coming straight to light. Something that's going to make a new beginning for you it could be a new love coming through, um, but it's definitely some kind of message from a messenger. It could be from that person or it could be from someone else. But however it is, it is coming right to you, this information. And somebody is very curious about the situation or it could have you curious to the situation. It is definitely something that's balanced from the universe. It could even be a, a karmic gift from the universe um, because of the cause and effect. It's also talking about what you've manifested and what you've asked for, what you've prayed upon. Um, wow. So look at, at that. Here it comes already, right? Here comes my blessings. Um, this could be something that you had a lack of mindset going towards. You may have felt defeated in this situation that it was never going to come and had a lot of worry about this situation. And it's pretty much like the Lord is saying over here, don't fear this situation. Um, you did feel isolated from this. You did feel like it wasn't going to happen, but yet here it comes. You put in enough effort. You put in enough enough manifestation you put in enough energy and high vibrations towards the situation that even though it got you down into a lower vibration for a while you already set you already set it you set it and then you worried about it but then you gave it it's kind of like i said it i gave it all this attention and then i let it go but then when i came back to think about it it made me worried that it wasn't going to come in but the good lord is saying you said it and you forget about it and now it's done you already did all the hard work. So now all of a sudden you came back to the situation and you're like, well, shit, you know, I thought I was never going to get that. I was very worried about that maybe a month ago, maybe, you know, four or five months ago. So I forgot about it again. 
And now they're saying, hey, you gave it enough attention. Let's bring that in. You deserve that. Yeah, you're having your victory. Yes, yeah, so this is going to cause a sudden change within the situation and a revelation of how you're going to get your manifestation, how you're going to get this, this prayer answered, right? It's the good news coming in from this page. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It does not have to be. I do have two cards of, of Scorpio. It could be definitely a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, but whoever's energy I'm picking up, more than likely it is. But it's all good, right? So then we're a Pisces. Here we go. Um, <laughs> right? And I got Pisces. Um, coming into May, though, you're going to be in a pause and a surrender mode. You're getting ready for this new perspective because of this enlightenment, because of this challenge that is before you. Um, and you're going to be in this acceptance mode, but you're understanding that there's some kind of change that has to happen. So you're going to look at it as, hey, you know what? I understand what's going on. I see the opportunity before me. And you know what? There's no comparison to this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. You're going to take this. Because it's exactly what you wanted. I think the only reason it's going to throw you for a loop is because something different had happened within your life. Um, that had changed the scope of since you manifested this. And it could be this or it could have been something in December or November. Right. Where it changed the way things were going. I think you had seen it in one way and visualized it one way. Is going this way. Then it never happened. And then all of a sudden it's coming in and you're saying, well, crap. And it might even be coming in pretty much like you visualize, but because you've changed a little bit of something in your life, it could be the job that you have or the location that you have, something has changed that makes you think, well, shit, now how do I get there, right? Because I had it perfect when I visualized it. When I asked for it, I had everything perfect, but now I had to let it go because it was not coming. So I did something to um, change the scales, right? You see what I'm trying to say? So you have done something different that makes you say, well, crap, now I have to figure out how I'm going to get this done. But you're saying, I'm going to do it because you're curious. You're trying to figure it out. You're trying your hardest to say, how am I going to do this now? Um, but I'm going to figure this out, getting new information, trying to figure things out within your mind of how you're going to do this, but feeling very comfortable, but looking deep within your, not only your analytical mind, but deep within your intuition of how am I going to do this, <laughs> right? Because you know that this was what you wanted to do. You see the open door, but you're looking for the extra opportunities to get yourself back to kind of like going backwards a little bit, right? To think of it this way, guys. If you wanted a really good job and you wanted this one job, this one job, I wanted this one job, damn it, and I really put it out there and I really wanted them to answer my call and do all these things, but then it never happened. So I moved forward. Right. I moved forward away from that. I went to this other job. Right. And maybe it's, you know, I even had to maybe even had to get up and move to a new location. Then all of a sudden this job, which, you know, is your dream job and you wanted it, but it's closer to where you used to be. Now you're like, oh, shit, that that's like 30 minutes away. Do you see the point? I'm saying that's what's going on. Something like that could even be a love. Maybe you have a new love and you're like, shit, that was my dream person. That's my, I know that's my soulmate. I know that's my person. Now I have this other person. Oh crap, what am I going to do? But it, you know, and maybe you're like, well, you know what? We don't get along as much as we do. I don't know. You guys take it however you want it. Okay. But I'm just saying it's something like that. Okay. Where it feels like you're going to have to take a couple of steps behind to get back up to where you were. You were like, oh my God, why is this happening now? But, you know, but maybe there's also something else going on in that other job that, you know, this like, it's not what I wanted. This, it doesn't feel that great for me. Okay. But in June, it says you have the 10 of cups. So I, you're going to, I'm telling you guys are going to take it. I'm telling you, the majority of you are going to take it because you're head over heart about the situation. You're truthful and honest with yourself. You know this is more reliable. You know this is gonna bring you the blessings and the happiness and you feel that this is a blessing and a happiness so you're gonna figure out how to get back, right? Because whatever the situation is, there's good give and take in the situation. I give to you, you give back to me. I can bust my ass off at this job and they will give me a lot of good money. You see what I'm saying? So, and if it's a person, holy Gemini, you guys know that this is your soulmate. You know that this was the person who was meant to be for you and you're going to impulsively move towards this person 
and try to figure out how to connect with them on the right terms and you want them you want them you're going for it um, for others of you, if it's not a person, it's just, you know what, I'm impulsive enough to say, you know what, this is where my connection is. I feel more connected. This is what I always truly wanted to be. I wanted to be with this company because they have all the benefits. Ah. Okay, so you know what it is. You'll know. And if you don't know what it is yet, because we manifest a thousand things <laughs> on any given basis, be like, is it manifestation one, two, three? Well, then it definitely will be a happy surprise. I have a feeling, though, it's such a happy surprise. It's the one you're not thinking about right now, right? Unless I gave you too many clues and you're like, damn it. <laughs> but you're going to figure out the challenge to gain the wisdom. And that's where you're going. That's the challenge. The challenge is, is what you really, truly wanted is now coming in. Okay. So within the Libra over here, the energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships going straight over here into summer in July. Your heart is open. Oh my gosh, you're feeling the love, the higher heart activation, dropping shields, divine love. Your heart is healed. You just feel like love is surrounding you, either whether it's with true love, the love of yourself, the love of this new job, whatever it is, you just feel like the love is pouring in around you. But it's also talking about relationships. And remember, this is Libra. This is also about those relationships of people, right? So it could even be the people out the work, right? Like we all get along just like I knew we would. However it is, take it how it is, because you were moving on and taking the challenge. You're at calmer waters. Your relationships around you are beautiful, right? Those that you didn't want, you ended those relationships to go ahead and get the relationships that mean something to you. So you do feel like you're surrounded by love. God, how beautiful is that? That's all we ever, ever really want is to be surrounded by love and feel loved and cherished and knowing I'm loving myself. Some of you are even going to have a new baby. Congratulations. Okay. And uh, some of you are going to get proposals also to get married. Um, but you have these manifestations and it was all due to this manifestation coming through. So it's just like, you know what? It's all coming together. It's all working the way I want it to. There's that married. I told you somebody's getting married. There it is. I'm at the wedding chapel. Um, having and building something beautiful, having a long term rewards coming in, feeling like I'm on top of the world and my heart chakra is open and everything has harmony and balance during July. July is definitely feeling like your month, but it really feels like it really all really came together in April. So between April and July, woo, hello, right? April and July, big months for you. Um, going straight into August, which we then have Merc Mercury retrograde coming through, which is August 4th through the 27th. It's showing that you're going to start bringing in the strength, strength and using that ultimate strength and ability of yourself. Okay, so you're going to be in an extra courage mode over here. Someone has kind of hurt your heart over here and made you feel like you're walking on broken glass, that's for sure, and making you feel like you persistently have to go strong to get to your nine of cups over here, this satisfaction. But having a lot of gratitude and gratefulness, I really see that, though, though you guys, it's almost like, you know what, you may have hurt my, my heart or things were a little imbalanced in some ways with somebody, but... You could say that, you know what, in the overall, you're going to look at all the things that you have and feel so much gratitude, feeling grateful, feeling like you still have a genie in a bottle that's just ready to pour out more wishes. So you're going to be overcoming these challenges. This challenge is not going to last very long. Okay, you're going to get, you know, planning. It's the man with the plan, the king of wands. You're going to see what's going on within this situation and move right past that. Okay, so it's not going to, the Three of Swords is not going to last very long. It just feels like small disputes that actually get a little carried away, that ends up hurting someone, bad words are said, and then we're moving on, right, to better, calmer waters. Okay, so, and yeah, it looks like it's just because you were doing it all and carrying a lot of burdens and struggles. It could be somebody, you know, within the, it feels more like kind of at work where it just feels like, you know what, they're taking advantage of me a little bit or not listening to my side of the story. So it could even be a family member. Okay, so so going into September, it does feel like 
you do have some speedy action and some messages coming through, some quick manifestations that you're manifesting really quickly. It could be some air travel, needing to go somewhere, do something. Um, and it does look like, once again, though, you are still carrying all the burden, doing extra responsibilities for someone. It could be the same person in winter time over there. But it also feels like somebody is trying to get away with something as well, trying to argue again. So... There they are. So it's almost like as soon as this is fixed, either the same person is causing havoc again or it's someone else, which is welcome to planet Earth, right? So, but it does feel like you need to do some traveling. You could even be, you know, arguing with a hotel person, right? I need to be in your hotel at this time and they're giving you some headache. Um, so it does look like you are juggling multiple priorities. So it just feels like it's getting a little frustrating. That's really, you know, it's just like, come on, I'm on time management over here. I'm trying to adapt to certain situations. I have things that are going on within my life and I need to get this. So it just feels like you have some restless energy. So it just feels like things are picking up so fast and you're trying to, trying to adapt to all these different things that are going on. And it's getting a little frustrating and impatience is really at play in that area there. So really watch your patience. Um, so with the Aries over here, we have the, <clears throat> excuse me, fall. The energy around you is dynamic, spontaneous, crusading, impulsive action is likely, which it feels like that's where that energy from September is really pulling itself into this area over here. And then, of course, we'll have Mars going retrograde pretty soon, right between this area and that area. I'm not sure exactly the time, but I can only imagine Right, that it has something to do with Mars and wanting to, right, wanting to cause some impatience um, and spontaneous combustion. Um, yeah, definitely. You have the Holy Grail over here, which is the Ace of Cups. Um, it says inner discovery, finding the sacredness, and you are what you seek. So definitely careful what you are, what you seek, because if you are impatient, then you're going to seek impatience, right? Going back to manifestation. You're seeking havoc and doing havoc, you're going to get havoc back. So we have to be careful, but we do have the Queen of Wands, so it does look like no matter what, you're really focused and determined on getting things done. Um, October is going to be a, 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 you know, between September and October just looks like those are the mover and shaker months. These are the months that, you know what, we're moving and shaking a lot. And I'm going to find the zest for life, though. I'm, I've got to get this done. I need this Ace of Cups. Right, and you're going to actually find some moderation and some patience. Wow. And you're going to find that being sensible about the situation is going to be better, right, about the situation because you are in an authority mode right now. And you have to be very disciplined and very practical about this, whatever situations are coming at you, right? And uh, because you are creating something and you might even be manifesting a lot of things, a lot of things that have to do with work, money. Um, projects, right, things at work, you might have some projects that you want to be a part of, um, so it does feel like, you know what, I need to get these things done, but it just feels like there's a lot going on, and you're just the busy bee um, in October. Whoa. In November, we do have past resentments, revenge, ugh, regrets, and failure, making amends, and cutting the losses when it comes to people, places, things, however. But it does look like there's going to be a lot of cutting losses over here. Um, and going to have some kind of competition or challenge mode before you. Um, making you feel like you have to, you know, stand your ground and take your own control over a situation. Um, but you're also going to find a time to relax. Just retreat, right, from certain situations. Because it just feels like it's the roundy, roundy, roundy. And you're not going to really win in that situation. And you just feel it. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, right? This is just, you know what? Needing to break those ties, right? Knowing I'm not going to win. I have no control over this situation. It's just continuing to keep going out. So it says you're not going to reach out to this situation. This is not something you're going to reach out to anymore. You're going to cut your losses, cut your ties to that situation. Okay, so... <clears throat> Okay, because it's not suiting you. Okay, so definitely whether it's a person or a thing, it could be a project. Maybe you wanted that project and somebody keeps stepping on your toes for it. So you're just saying, you know what, I don't want that project anymore. Forget it, I'll go find a different one. Um, when it comes to 
December, it looks like you have your the king with the money. The money man. Um, so it is talking about business and leadership, talking about making good money. Could have some promotions coming in. The fool, new beginnings. This is going to bring in new beginnings. This newfound wealth is going to bring you in a lot of money. It could even be a new job. Maybe you cut your ties on that job and say that's enough of that. Um, but you definitely are talking about the ending for the new beginning and a change. Um, finding your financial independence, but feeling like you do have a little bit of work-home conflict. So for some of you, you might feel like the work, coming home from work and then going to home, you're combating, right? So careful of that. Okay. Otherwise, it looks like a beautiful reading, my friends. You got a lot of beautiful things coming in your way. Um, it does definitely look like a year of new beginnings and some new relationships coming in for sure. Some new good relationships. Okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.